I love cycling, especially on a day like this. It's uh, good for the environment, it's good for your pocket. Great way to get about. But what if you can't afford a decent bike? Well, they come in flat packs now. They're very cheap. You assemble them yourselves. But might that be a false economy? And more importantly, are those bikes safe? You can pick up a flat pack bike for less than 100 quid. Among the names selling them, Tesco, Halfords, Toys R Us, Argos and Asda. The major retailers would have you believe they're really easy to build. Just a very small bit of minor assembly. You add the pedals and the seat and the handlebars and away you go. But if it really is that simple, how come even Asda, in their own advert, couldn't get it right? At Asda, get an adult's bike for just £70 and a child's bike. Asda launched a bike for just £70 back in June. Since then, they've sold 50,000 of them despite having to pull their television ad when someone rather more practical spotted that the front forks were back to front, meaning you wouldn't be able to steer it and the brakes wouldn't work. If Asda can't manage it, what hope for their customers? We're about to find out. We bought a flat pack bike from the five biggest names selling them. We have a volunteer to put each one together and two experts to judge their efforts. Paul Topham, a bike mechanic, and John Stevenson, a leading cycling journalist. So, you guys know a thing or two about bikes. You've looked at these. What do you think of them? They're very poor quality. I mean, there's the combination of the factor of both that they come unbuilt and the various bits that go to making them up leads to something that is just not going to be very much fun to ride, even if you do manage to build it. Construction of these bikes is so shoddy mm -hmm. that wheels go out of true quickly, brakes go out of yeah. adjustment quickly. They stop working very quickly compared to a, a better quality proper bike from a bike shop. Never mind what the experts say, what about the people they're aimed at? Students, commuters, wannabe cyclists out for a bargain. Our testers. Let's see what they make of them. OK, folks, you've got two hours. Off you go. Good luck. Drama teacher Claire is going to try assembling our most expensive model, but still just under £100 from Toys R Us. We've got three bikes that sell for around £89. Brian's got the one from Halfords, Will's is from Argus, and Wendy will tackle Tesco's. Our cheapest bike is that £70 one from Asda. We've given that one to Colvier Ranger. He's the Mayor of London's transport advisor, and we all know Boris likes bikes. So, has he passed on any tips? Is this even going down? And they're on their own. All they have is the bike in the box, whatever instructions came with it, and the tools provided, just an Allen key and a simple wrench. So, can they build it? And if they do, will it be any good on the road? I don't think the instructions are clear. Our experts, John and Paul, are keeping a careful eye on them. How do you think you're getting on there? Well, um, one pedal to go. Actually, it hasn't been as bad as I thought. They might think they've finished. It looks like a bike. But our experts don't think it's going quite so well. Two of them definitely look dangerous. Um, there's some, some definite problems. They all completed the build well within the two hours allowed. But maybe it's a case of more haste, less speed. Easy to put together? Test your patience. John. <laughs> Test your patience. It's the brakes that I'm worried about, and I did have a little ride around, and it just doesn't feel, that doesn't does not feel right, does safe mm, at all. And in the instructions, there's, there's very little about this. That's not doing it at all, is it? No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I, I trust my ability to put this thing together. They all look roadworthy, but what will mechanic Paul make of the way our cyclists had put them together? Handlebars move independently of the front wheel. This nut is just finger tight, which is really probably because you get that very poor spanner to do it up with. Come out of my hand, just like that. That will just fall out. So all five made crucial mistakes that left their bikes unsafe to ride. But let's not be too hard on them. They're not experts, and that's the point. Whether it was down to our cyclists and their assembly or problems with the individual bikes we happened to buy, they all ended up with faults that only someone in the know would be able to put right. First, that Asda bike. Quite a major buckle in the front wheel, which you can see here. Next, Halfords, the store that boasts it goes the extra mile. Major buckle in the front wheel, rubbing against the brakes as there. A lot of clicking coming from the gears, though. The Toys R Us bike had problems with its brakes. In fact, it looks like this piece of metal is bent, and so it's actually impossible to get this piece in. The Tesco bike had a buckled rear wheel, and the chain jammed when the gears were changed. If you pedaled that on the ground, that would just snap the brake 
it would be very dangerous because you would come to a, a halt and your new bike, albeit a cheap new bike, would, would be broken. That happened with the Argos bike too. So putting a bike together yourself obviously isn't easy. The question is, is it safe? Well, in France, they reckon not. If you buy a flat pack bike there, you have to have a professional to help you put it together.